When I first started machining way back in New York City using that benchtop tag, I remember I tried using a slitting saw to cut a groove and a part and to cut a part off. Did not go well. I had no idea what I was doing at the time. Well, fast forward, we've learned a thing or two, and I saw that Tormach started selling slitting saws with the Arbor on their website, like this little guy. So I thought, wait a minute here. Let's give this a try again. There are a lot of times where it's going to be really useful to be able to cut a part off relatively precise, certainly better than a bandsaw, in the vise. So let's take a quick look at the speeds and feeds, and then let's give her a test on the Tormach. So why did we crash those old slitting saws? Because we had no idea what we were doing on feeds and speeds. It's actually really simple. So the one thing you need to know is a surface feet per minute. And you can Google this, and it's usually for a material and a cutter. So when you're cutting aluminum, with high speed steel, something like 400 surface feet per minute should be okay. The diameter of our tool, let's take a look. We know this is the Tormach 33096 slitting saw, and it has 30 teeth, by the way, so we will say diameter is three inches. Flutes is the same as teeth, 30, and then chip load per tooth, just stick to 1,000, folks. That's this, a good starting point. So that tells us we're gonna go 500 RPMs and 15 inches a minute. It's that simple. All those formulas are up here if you want to look, dig into them, but this is sort of plug and play. And with that, we're going to be posting these Excel files, the CAD models, more the CAM information, the CAM models themselves, on our new Patreon website. This is a site where you can choose to pledge a dollar a month to support the content, support the sub materials and the time that go into making these videos. Totally optional, not required to view the videos. What we're also going to do, aside from publishing and giving you access to these files is to try to do a monthly live stream video where anyone who's a Patreon supporter can get on and we'll actually do a, an hour long Q&A. We can talk about topics, sort of an open dialogue and so forth. So if you want to support the channel, we do appreciate it. And if you don't, no worries. Enjoy the videos. Sweet. Well, there's our part. Now, I would recommend conventional milling it like we did. There's a lot of debate. You know, climb milling might be better in terms of long-term tool life, but conventional milling is going to be safer here. And I normally would have cut it the opposite direction so that the nub was left on this side, not over by my hole. I wanted you guys to see the cutting angle with the cut on the back side. No big deal. We're actually going to head over right now on the scotch Bright wheel and knock that off. But, um, folks, this is going to be really handy. Man, uh, a lot easier to do this, not only programming and having the tool set up, than taking this out, going over to the bandsaw, cutting it off, coming back, putting this, you know, especially a curved piece like this in the vise, trying to set your Z, and then, you know, skim cutting it off so you've got a clean top. So that is a win, folks. Uh, I appreciate it as always, folks. If you want to support the channel on Patreon, we do appreciate that. Otherwise, thumbs up, comments, likes, shares, all that good stuff. Take care. I will see you tomorrow for the Wednesday Widget. Take a look, not half bad folks.